Go for a cruel ending to the game to lose it in added time. How tough a, t a one to take is that? Yeah, I'm really disappointed that we've lost the game. Obviously, you know, I thought we were very good throughout the, the 90 minutes. Obviously, going down to 10 men has cost us, but the, the application, the attitude, the desire that the boys showed against, you know, probably one of the best squads in the league uh, was very, very good and very pleasing. You know, um, to limit them with hardly any shots on our, our goal and frustrate them and still have three or four real good chances ourselves was, was good. Yeah, of course, nobody wants to lose a game of football, but how do you, do you stand here with a sense of pride, as you say, with just how much effort the players have put in today? I'm very proud of the, the, the effort they put in every week. You know, this group of players um, have been fantastic since, uh, you know, they've all come in. They're, they're, they're growing together as a team, as a squad, and you could see that they're putting their bodies on the line today. You know, again, we've come to a, a big, big club. A uh, big team in, in this league who have got uh, you know loads of Premier League quality, lots of big money um, players as well, and, and we've limited them to nothing, you know, which is really pleasing, and, and it shows we're on the right on the right road, and we keep doing the right things, and you know, as I say, you know, I think if we keep eleven players on the pitch there, we don't lose the game. Mm. If you had to be picky, what would you like to have seen more of? Just that last couple of minutes, just to, to you know stop the cross, to to win the header in the box, you know, uh, all the the basics that we're very good at, you know, and there's no feeling sorry for. Us. Ourselves. We're, we're fighters, we're not victims, so when we go down to 10 men I expect us to, to, to defend properly for that last five or six minutes, which we didn't and um, you know that, that's disappointing. Because up until that point, up until added time, they dealt with everything that Watford threw us. We did, and we limit, as I say, we've limited a very, very good squad of players to, to nothing. And, um, you know, that's the most pleasing thing for us. We have to improve going forward, we know that, and we have to be more clinical and take our chances. But we're getting chances, we're being hard to play against, and I think that's good progress. What was your view on Lee Buchanan's red card? Uh, yeah, I think I think the inconsistency throughout the game, really, there was lots of cheap fouls, which they weren't really punished. Um, with, you know, I, I can see a, a double yellow possibly for Lee there, but I think there's a lot of other fouls that got people got away with in the game, which is frustrating. But listen, that's football. You know, we have to get on with it. We're going to miss Lee now for a game or so, I think. And, you know, it's going to be a big miss for us because he's been sensational for us. And, um, you know, it is it's it is what it is. Mm. You know that when you come here, Watford are going to have the majority of the ball. What was the approach going into today's game? Yeah, to, to, to be solid, to be hard to play against, to put pressure on at the right times, which I think we did, to win the pit, ball high up the pitch at the right times, which I think we did. And we're always going to be threats on the turnover. I thought Oli Burke's um, debut today was, was very good. You can see what he's going to bring to the team. We have lots of pace going forward as well. So, yeah, it's pleasing. Yeah, and when you look at the chances, we've had them from the off. Jay Stansfield with the very first attack. He's hit the post in the second half. Scott Hogan's forced a double save. We're creating up there. We are, and we've got to just keep believing in what we're doing, keep believing in the process. You know, it's, um, it's a long process. You know, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be uh, perfect after six, seven, eight games. You know, this is over the course of a, a season. We're building a proper squad now, and, you know, everyone's going to be um, used in the right way, and, and hopefully we can keep building and, and keep doing well. Yeah, and despite that Watford spell in the second half, we've got a group of players, particularly across that back line, who show they can they can sustain that pressure, they can deal with it. Of course we have, yeah, and, uh, and, they, and they've been like that all season up to now. You know, it's it's a collective. It's from Scotty Hogan at the top to, to John Ruddy in the goal. You know, it's it's about the team, about the squad, and, you know, we're, we're, we're heading in the right direction. Over 2,000 supporters have made the trip here again. They got behind you when they needed you, particularly late on, and you could hear at the end what they thought of that performance. Yeah, definitely, and that's what we want. You know, we want to excite the, the fans, and most importantly, we want to make them proud of, of watching us and, and supporting the club. You know, the club are doing really well off the field now, you know, with fantastic owners and the right investment, and, um, you know, it's important that we keep being competitive and coming to big places like this and showing everyone how much of a good team we are. Sure, we certainly won't feel sorry for ourselves. Quick turnaround, lick our wounds, and on to Preston we go. Absolutely, yeah, another tough test on Tuesday, but the squad will be used. You know, they're, they're on a good run themselves now, so um, we'll go there full of confidence and not let today affect us. Thanks, Gavin. Thank you.